Taylor Lorenz, notorious cry bully who's jumped around from various publications and is now at the Washington Post, has made her career out of clout chasing. I cover YouTubers for a living. In this case, she focused on our client, Ariadne Jacob, who was running uh, influencer um, houses and, and managing talent on TikTok. Like, I have right. Jake Paulers, you know, telling me to myself every day. I don't care. I had severe PTSD from this. I, I contemplated it got really bad. This isn't the first time Taylor Lorenz has done this. She's also gone on to proceed to try to destroy libs of TikTok. Stalking me, like, all of that is incredibly terrifying and invasive. Um, and it's bled out into the physical world too, which is even ter more terrifying, right? Yeah. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And has even beefed with her coworkers at the New York Times, last week at the Washington Post, and other journalists at NBC. It doesn't affect me. I always say, I'm like, death threats, who cares? I've had to remove every single social tie. My bar is extremely high for this stuff. Yeah. Um, it's horrifying. And the Oscar goes to... I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's overwhelming. It's really hard. This lady is a one-woman wrecking crew, and I'm hoping that we will finally be the ones to hold her accountable for all the damage she's caused to so many different people, Tucker. Well, she's certainly a bully. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording, and oh, you just hate to see it. I mean, I'm sure Tay uh, Tay, uh, Taylor Lawrence, by the way, so close to her 90th birthday, too. It's really frustrating, but uh, she got a bit of bad news, and I suspect that Taylor Lorenz a professional crime bully and deep platformer and doxer born with a silver spoon in her mouth, multimillionaire who leaves her heat on 90 degrees because she's uh, some sort of weird lizard person, allegedly. Um, the, 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 she got a bit of bad news, okay? She's getting sued for $12 million. That's right. Taylor Lorenz, Queen B, Queen Internet Hall Monitor, ran into a little bit of a problem. Now, this has been a lawsuit that has been following her around for quite some time, but it looks like some renewed updates in the suit, and it is moving forward. <sighs> That's got to cut like a knife. Check out this video sponsor. Huge shout-out to this video sponsor, Kamikoto. That's right. Kamikoto makes Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. Over 800 years of Japanese technology and expertise have gone into creating the steel that this knife has been meticulously handcrafted from using techniques that date all the way back to the Edo period of Japan. Kamikoto only uses steel sourced from mills in Japan. Each knife comes in a beautiful, heavy duty wood box. It makes sure that the knife is stored safely. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. These are knives that I personally own and use. I got a set through this promotion. Over Christmas, I used it to cut a beautiful brisket that I had uh, made for the holidays and cut ham and turkey and all sorts of thing. Not only did it work flawlessly, but it was a talking point at the table. The knives felt like the perfect weight. They were perfectly balanced. And on top of all of this, just for you, my subscribers, you guys can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code THEQUARTERING. So click the link below and go to kamikoto.com slash thequartering and use promo code thequartering to save an extra $50 today. Hey, gift giving season's coming up. Maybe you want to give something to yourself. Taylor Lorenz, New York Times maliciously destroyed TikTok talent agent's business lawsuit. A woman who discovered TikTok stars like Addison Ray and Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, I don't really care who any of these people are, has accused tech journalist Taylor Lorenz and the New York Times of publishing a defamatory story that she claims ruined her entire business. Lawyers for uh, Arianda, Ar uh, Jacob, sorry, Arid, Arid, Aridon, I, I don't know, sorry. I know... I've DM'd with her before, too, so no disrespect. I'm terrible with names. Claim in an amended lawsuit that Lorenz, who was then reporting for the New York Times, manipulated uh, her TikTok clients into making damaging accusations for the original article, including a claim that Jacob le leaked spicy photos of one of the influencers to quote-unquote industry people, which I'm, I'm assuming she's claiming is false. 
The amended lawsuit filed last week, about a month after a federal judge dismissed the initial lawsuit, claims that Lorenz bullied Jacob's clients into fabricating claims against her. Jacob claims that Lorenz has a long-standing tie to the United Talent Agency, which ended up poaching many of her clients after influencers shuddered in the wake of the Times story. Jacob is teaching, seeking $12 million in damages. A New York Times spokesperson told the Post, the judge properly dismissed the earlier complaint, and we intend to move again to dismiss this amended complaint. The Post has sought comment from Lorenz and her current employer at the Washington Post. Quote, Two years ago, my life's work was maliciously destroyed by Taylor Lorenz, a dishonest, agenda-driven journalist, influencer, dis desperate for fame, Jacob said. Jacob said Lorenz's article have left her professionally radioactive and penniless. She said the lawsuit was part of a quest for justice, truth, and accountability. She accuses Lorenz and the New York Times of publishing a hit piece. I mean, is anybody shocked by that? We all know that Taylor Lorenz, that's all she does is publish hit pieces. And in particular, for whatever weird reason, it's always against other women. I, I, seemingly, it's against women. She's got a problem with women who are more successful than her. You know, being almost 90 years old, she probably looks back at her long life as probably wasted in some sense because there's really nothing going on. She's accomplished nothing. Influences, a now defunct company, built itself as an online creator management and influencer marketing company that one at one point managed more than 85 TikTok creators with massive followings. Her rosters of stars included content creators who got paid tens of thousands of dollars every time they posted a single TikTok video promoting brands such as MasterCard or Universal Music. Influences hosted the TikTok stars at a collaboration house in LA where they lived while creating viral videos. The article, which was titled Trying to make it big online, getting signed isn't everything. Quoted the influencers as accusing her of locking them into exclusive contracts, promising them brand deals only to fail to deliver and saddling them with the er onerous expenses, including rent and utilities. Brittany Tomlinson, also known as Brittany Broski, aka Kombucha Girl, accused Jacob of failing to pay more than $23,000 that she was owed. Maybe that's true. I don't know. Um, I suspect the thing is when you talk about Taylor Lorenz, you just have to be suspect of anything that comes out of her mouth or keyboard in any way, shape or form, because she has such a long, illustrious history of being a dirty, filthy liar face. You see just last night, Tucker Carlson, Harmeet Dillon, Taylor Lorenz's MO is quote, hit piece journalism. Uh, former vice chairman, a California Republican party, explains her lawsuit on behalf of women who say, uh, on behalf of a woman who say tech journalist Lorenz ruined her business. So she went on Tucker to talk about it. Here on Fox, TikTok agent files $12 million defamation lawsuit against New York Times and cry bully Taylor Lorenz. The new complaint says that she bullied influencers into making false statements. Well, I suppose they're going to have to prove, like, obviously, I haven't seen the uh the legal complaint but i mean you're going to have to prove that those were false jacob is seeking more than 11.6 million dollars it comes less than a month after a federal judge had dismissed an earlier suit filed by jacob which in which lorenz was a former new york times reporter was accused of making numerous false and disparaging statements quote of fact in an august 2020 times article to uh headline trying to make it big the amended post complaint File on October 5th alleges that Lorenz, now working for the Washington Post, bullied Jacob's TikTok clients into making false statements against the Times for the Times article, including a claim that Jacob was behind a leaked spicy photo of said influencer. The complaint accuses Lorenz and the New York Times of knowingly publishing the article with the hopes that their, quote, status and power within the mainstream media would armor them against liability for lying. Well, we just saw a Connecticut court award someone a billion dollars for lying. Uh, I suppose $12 million, you know, that would be something. And here's where things get a little spicy though. The amended lawsuit also includes sworn affidavits by influencers, Adam Cohen and Kyle Orif Orifice, <laughs> who had direct contact with Lorenz, according to an online statement from Jacob's attorney, who say that screenshots of conversations between the influencers and Lorenz show her defamatory efforts were intentional 
and reckless. So that's, you know, the additional proof, I'm guessing, that she needed. Discussing the t- case and her appearance on Tucker Carlson tonight, Wednesday, Jacob's attorney, on Wednesday, Jacob's attorney, Harmeet Dillon, said her client's livelihood was destroyed by the Washington Post's notorious cry bully who built her career out of clout chasing and increasing her stature by picking victims who happened to be on the upswing in the public eye and attacking them viciously. This lady is a one-woman wrecking crew, and I'm hoping this will be the one will be the ones to finally hold her accountable for all the damage she's called to causes so many people. She said to host Tucker Carlson, "Quote: In this case, she focused on our client, who is running an influencer house and managing talent. Given five hours to respond to her hit piece questionings in writing, which is her M.O. and the M.O. of other dishonest journalists, she Lorenz." was provided with information debunking many of the lies that she already published in her story, Dylan said. And having written information in hand debunking these lies, she went ahead and published it anyway and followed up with posts on social media, lying about our client's businesses practices, business practices, calling our client a bad actor on social media, and basically destroying our client's career and causing our damage to the tune of millions of dollars. I mean... Seems pretty good to me. I mean, I you know, this is what what you know what Taylor Lorenz would not you know she would call this consequence culture, right? Uh, you know, Taylor Lorenz twelve million dollars. I'm sure her parents have it. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but Taylor Lorenz was born into a wealthy family, just like many internet hall monitors, like multi million multi millionaire parents sent her to private schools, like in Switzerland, where it's like. Fifty, hundred thousand dollars a year, um, sent to you know Ivy League schools, all paid for by super rich parents, only to turn into what is like literally the bottom scum of the world, a tattletale, an internet hall monitor. Uh, and this only a week after she got into a fight, Taylor Lorenz slams Wapo colleague, peddles anti poke uh, conspiracy and admits to multiple crimes. Yikes! Taylor Lorenz is having an eventful week. On Tuesday, TikTok reporter challenged the scientific efficacy of, in a Twitter post, lashing out at a Washington Post colleague. On Wednesday, she confessed to committing a series of crimes. What? Helene Olin, an opinion columnist for the Post, tweeted in response to a New York Post article about a deranged geezer, Howard Stern, eating at a restaurant for the first time since 2020. Quote, at some point, we're going to need to begin the conversation about the people that are still too afraid to leave their homes because of the coof, Olin wrote. I personally know of two such cases. It's not a healthy way to live. Shots fired. Lorenz was outraged. What an absurd, insensitive thing to post. She fired back. Thousands of people are dying a week. Millions are disabled. We have zero effective drugs that prevent it. Uh, Lorenz briefly deleted the tweet before then reposting it. Fact check. We have zero effective drugs. Uh, this is anti-science disinformation. It's dangerous and should be flagged as such. Experts agree. Uh, that the poke is safe and effective. Crime spree. In a response to Twitter posts about fare evaders in the D.C. Metro, Lorenz admitted that she, quote, never paid for a single ride while interning in the nation's capital last year. This would have been well before 2018 when D.C. Council voted to decriminalize Metro fare evasion, which means Lorenz committed multiple criminal acts punishable up to by 10 days in jail and up to $300 fine. Why didn't she caught, get caught? Answer, white privilege. The day that Taylor Lorenz finally meets some level of accountability will be a great one. Will it be this $12 million lawsuit? Who can say? But all I can say is I'm definitely enjoying one of my many new and limited time only coffee blend flavors. French toast, salted caramel, pumpkin spice, spike jack-o'-lantern, including our cold brew bags, our double caffeinated, our decaf. Using promo code THEQUARTERING at coffeebrandcoffee.com, you'll support the channel. And you'll have a delicious drink. By the way, since it's so much tea, we have a brand new tea flavor, raspberry rose petal tea. Brand new. Shipping on Monday. Make sure you get that. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. 